To create an EC2 instance with Terraform, let's start with the configuration file. So you'll see we've created a file called createc2.tf and it's in the same folder as the Terraform executable. So in this file, we have the provider, which is AWS. And under that, we specify parameters that we want to use. So in here, we've got region, which is EUS2, which is London. Then we're going to use a shared credentials file. So this file is an IAM user. I have already set up in Amazon under the profile called TechSnips. This saves having to store an access key and a secret key in the actual Terraform file. So the resource block, it defines a resource that exists within the infrastructure. It might be a physical component, such as an EC2 instance. So here I've selected an image, AMI image, which is actually a Windows 2016 server. And the instance type is a T2 micro. And I've added a tag onto this VM called test VM. So when we're using Terraform, the first command is Terraform. And what we need to do is actually initialize it. So by initializing it, it checks the contents of that TF file and it goes away to Terraform to download the plugin it needs to use. So you'll see there it's found the provider AWS and it's downloading that plugin. Now that we have that, we can use the second command, which is Terraform apply. So this will read the contents of the configuration file we've created and it will create a plan for deploying your EC2 instance. So there you'll see the actual plan. Nothing at this point has been generated and it's showing you in the inverted commas where we've actually specified a resource. So you can specify all these particular types of resource if you want. So now we're being asked, do we approve it? So if we type yes, this will now connect to Amazon and it will start the deployment of your EC2 instance. That's the instance created. So we can use a further command called Terraform show. This command gives us quite rich information about the instance that has been created. You'll see we can actually view our private IP and security groups. So let's switch across to the AWS console and have a look at this VM. So I'll quickly do a refresh. And there you'll see we've got one running instance. I have a couple of terminated instances here and you'll see the one we've created is still initializing and it's actually up and running. So let's filter by that tag. And there you'll see our instance. We can go to description and you'll, you'll see that it's created a public IP address for it, it's a private IP address. It's a T2 micro, which is running and it's still initializing at the moment. So we can now see that it's passed its status checks and we have a Windows 2016 server fully operational. So as a final step, we'll go back to PowerShell. You might decide that you want to remove your infrastructure. So you might want to remove the, the EC2 instance and anything else you've actually built. So there's quite a simple process. You can type Terraform destroy. So you have to be careful because if there's other Terraform configuration files in the same folder, when you run Terraform destroy, it will look at those as well. So you'll see it's found our instance and we need to type yes to destroy it. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just say yes. And we can now see that instance is being destroyed. If we go back to the console. So at the moment it's just shutting down. So once we've issued that Terraform destroy command, it will shut down the VM gracefully and then proceed to terminate that instance, which may take a wee while. And there we have the instance is terminated now. Thank you for watching this video.